I help you? I actually was looking for your dad. Jesse around? I think he's out, working on the Chandler case. Oh, finally. <laughs> and what does that mean? Oh, just that, you know, with everything going on with you, I think your dad's been a little overextended, but it's good to hear he's back out on the job. And that you're feeling better, of course. Well, I've had a lot of support. My family, my wife. It's a beautiful woman, your wife. You really hit the jackpot, didn't you? How do you know the DA? What do you mean? Well, I saw him coming out of your apartment. You have nothing to do with the case, so what's the connection? He was here looking for Jesse. I have a better idea. Stop the ball. Tell me what happened. Right now. So, how long have you been married? A few months. Ah, uh, still in the honeymoon phase. <laughs> Trust me, we've had our ups and downs. How about you? How long have you been with your wife? Ah, uh, a few years. Dr. Pledging your life to one person it sure takes a hell of a lot of faith. Well, it wasn't a big leap for me. With Randy, I just, you know, I knew. <laughs> well, that's what we tell ourselves so we don't panic. But, I mean, come on, do you ever really know? Well, there are times I look in my wife's eyes and I know there are secrets hiding in there. I'm just saying, you know, it's impossible to know absolutely everything about a person. Well, Randy and I happen to share everything you're very trusting <laughs> you're not i bet you question everyone and everything i guess that's why i became a lawyer hmm. <laughs> hey thanks how you doing hey uh good i guess <laughs> excellent looking for me question with an easy answer yeah um outside good to see you again frankie mm. Henry North holds Kendall's life in his hands. He's made it personal. I'm sorry. What are you sorry about, Sylvia? Tell me everything you know about the guy. I hate his guts. There's really nothing else to say. It's gonna be more than that. He came out of your apartment, came to see you, so... Obviously, you guys knew each other. We used to. Used to when? When, when I was a hooker, yeah. And when he was a paying customer? It was different. Different how? Henry was in love with me. Henry and I, we got close. He was so into me. He wanted to save me from a life of selling my body, my soul. It's not a bad option. I couldn't do it. I mean, here was this big-time lawyer, like, wanting to get into politics. I had no business being with a guy like that. So I walked away. And he was broken up by? I caught a full contact. I don't know. But what I can tell you is the man who was in here tonight, definitely not the same Henry I knew. Why was he here? He, um, he wants us to start over. He even asked me to go away this weekend. And the fact that you're married is... No big deal to him. Of course, I told him no, but then... But then what? <sighs> hey. Don't do it. You stay away from him. Understand? But what if I can what help? What if you want? If you can fix him, heal him, you can't. The man is dangerous. Hey, I I can't stand what he's doing to Kendall and to Jesse. I mean, I know he's not Jesse's boss, but he can still mess with his job. It just makes me sick. It's so typical. I'm finally happy. I finally stopped running. I have a husband that is amazing, a family that's supportive. And now Henry decides to come into my life. Just so you know, this conversation never happened. Thank you. I just wish there was something else that I could do. There is. Live your life. I'll take care of the rest.
thinking the day is a complete bust when Ryan Lavery and his good buddy Tad Martin waltz into my office. Yeah, I heard. Mm, just another witness to put on the stand. The jury is going to eat this up, watching the anguish on these people's faces as they're forced to sell Kendall down the river. Well, from what I understand, Tad Martin isn't entirely clear on what he saw. He now seems to think that the woman in question could have been Annie Lavery. So, let him go there. I'll get what I want, regardless. Annie was in the house the night of the murder. Did you, you or did you not rule her out as a suspect? This is before Tad remembered, remembered seeing her. Remembered what? Seeing a woman with dark, maybe straight, maybe curly hair? I mean, come on. Annie Lavery moved in with the grieving brother. Not to mention the fact that no one saw her anywhere near the victim. Now, investigating her is a complete waste of time. You really think this is a slam dunk, don't you? It's pretty damn close. Of course, it would be nice to have some direct evidence. Wait a minute. That's your job, isn't it? Or maybe if you could pry yourself away from your family. Perfect timing. Here comes one of them now. Randy, isn't it? Just wanted to let you know I'm going out of town. Now? Is that a problem? Well, it's just that you've been living and breathing this Chandler murder case. Huh? Which, let's face it, is pretty much open and shut. Or at least it will be once you get some solid direct evidence against the defendant. So get to work. I've been at work. Be staying at the Memorial Hotel in D.C. Give me a call when you find something. How's Frankie doing? Oh, he's doing great. Good. Give him my love, will you? Yeah, of course I will. Good to see you again, Randy. I'll be in the Jefferson suite when you change your mind. Sounds like it doesn't even matter whether Kendall did it or not. This North guy, he's gonna toast her anyway. He came by here earlier. What? Why? He was looking for my dad. I feel bad for him, you know? Jesse, I hope you mean. He thinks Kendall's innocent, and this DA, he won't hear it. And from what I understand, he's making my dad's life a living hell. He's trying to turn the whole force against him. That sucks. Yeah, can you imagine what Zach must be going through right now? I know he and Kendall have had their issues, but if I knew that you were getting tried for something you didn't do, I'd lose my mind. Yeah, but, I mean, it's not over yet. Something could change between Dr. now and... What, I Monday? Yeah, it'd take a miracle. Someone would have to come forth with something new, and no one's had the guts to do that yet. I've got to go out of town. What? Since when? It's just for a weekend. Um, there's this conference, and Fusion needs someone to represent the company, so, you know, it's time I stepped up. Ah, look at you, stepping up. You know what, you're gonna be running that company before you know it. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't know. I wouldn't push it that far, babe. Hey, I'm proud of you. Don't be. I'm just doing what's best for everybody. Like I said, I'm proud of you. Frankie, I love you. I love you too. Please, come in. My God, you are beautiful. It's time for you to hold up to your end of the deal. What deal? The deal where you lay off Kendall and you leave Jesse alone. Ah, right. That deal. You know, now that I think about it, it's kind of a lot to ask. I mean, all you did was make a quick little trip. What do you want? You know what I want. You. Be with me, Randy. For old time's sake. And I'll give you anything you want.